Okay, hi, we're here at the staging area of the main entrance for the Somerville Track, one of four managed forests in the city of Kortha Lakes. There's almost 10,000 acres that, uh, that is an asset of the cities, and uh, we've been given the um, charge of looking after this, protecting this uh, area, as well as laws and, and, and law enforcement. So we're here with uh, former councillor Dave Hodson, longtime champion of this area, and uh, a, a big supporter of the whole of the city of Fort Lakes, not just the north. So uh, Dave, can you tell us a little bit about this uh, section of land, its history and uh, its uses? Yeah, this uh, land originally was uh, purchased by um, the McConaughey's back in, uh, oh, in the 1800s and he purchased the land sight in, unseen uh, in England and once you get over here and realize there's nothing but rock and uh, swamp it uh, he uh, decided it, it, he'd give it up and the county and the uh, it was taken over by the county of Victoria or the Ministry of Natural Resources and they planted um, trees as you can see by the sign that two million over two million trees were planted here this area comprises of, uh, uh, this forest tract comprises of 8,400 acres of pristine wilderness. There are some trails through it. Uh, most of it is untouched. Um, it's uh, it's a, an excellent multi-purpose resource for ATVs, bicycles, hikers, fishermen, hunters, every, um, Motorcyclists use this area quite a bit right here. It's, um, it's an amazing resource that the city has, should be tapping into more than it is. It, it offers us um, so much in the, in the way of tourism and tourist dollars uh, for our, our community and for the betterment of the forest and uh, enable so that we're able to maintain the flora and fauna as well as use it for recreational tourism. Uh, like I said before, we're not going to uh, get any Honda plant in Lindsay. So tourism is the only way that is the only way to go. It, and we have our over 250 lakes and rivers in this city. And this is just a prime area for recreational tourism, for all the tourists that come up here, as well as people that want to want to move to this area. If we build it, they will come. It's a gorgeous area. There's, uh, you couldn't find a, a better area in the whole country than this forest. It's unprotected. You can go in and take a look at it at any time, ride your bicycle through it, ride your motorcycle through it, ride your ATV through it, in the winter time, the snowmobiles go through it. It's an excellent uh, resource for our city. And uh, if we don't preserve it and put some funds into it and maintain it, it's going to, we're going to lose it. Well, thank you for that, Dave. And it is a tremendous asset for the city and 90-year uh, history here. And uh, that's what we are looking for, is to make the city of Kortha Lakes a destination for tourism for uh, families, not just for the people that live here in the city of Kortha Lakes, for uh, people in other countries and other parts of the province and other parts of the country. Uh, if they see this place, they will certainly want to come back. And uh, it's something that we should focus on the management and the protection of this area. Just as you said, we need more people up here. <laughs> There's nothing yeah. wrong with the North having more people. No, We it's... like it. It's good for the city and it's good for us. Yeah. Well, thanks very much for this, Dave. This has okay. been a great day. Thank you.